Travelers searching for planes for time to drop. And we are about to catch our flight uh, to Florida. Today is Eileen's birthday. And she's in taking a shower right now. Um, trying to get the fake tan off uh, that she put on last night. So we're about to find out if Uber actually runs at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. Uber does run at 4 o'clock in the morning, which is really good news. All right, we are in the Atlanta airport. Hello, we're in Atlanta. It's a big airport, but we're in the Delta terminal and the, or the gate area, and it has everything. So we are gonna go get Popeye's chicken at 8 in the morning, because that's the best option. And hashtag smells, judge don't judge. Well, it smells really good, and then coffee. I don't really remember where it was, do you? B13. Alright. Coffee beanery, B3. That's quite far down there though, baby. We don't have time for that. Okay. It's only 10 more than B13. Yeah, but people walk slow. <laughs> oh yeah. We didn't know they had breakfast. Hash browns and chicken biscuits. We got called baby a lot by the people who work there, but that's kind of cute. So we're going to eat this now. We're, we're in, in Tampa! Tampa. So we're going to quickly do a room tour. We literally just walked in the door. It's hot as hell here. It's very humid. So we are at the Tahitian Inn in Tampa, Florida. Sushi here. We're at a place called Sushi Ninja in Tampa. We're in an entire room by ourselves, um, which is kind of cool. And we got a roll called the um, what is that it's one a called? Chicken roll. Oh, uh, katsu roll. Yep. This one's the asparagus, asparagus. roll. Asparagus. And then eel. we got this one is um, crab. And then we got eel back there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're at Cigar City Brewing. What's really cool is they have a giant like TV screen with all of the beer listed along with, if you're not sure which beer is dark or light, it kind of shows the color, which is really cool. Not seen it done like that before. They have a huge selection on tap. They have a very nice glassware. The inside is pretty cool, it's industrial. So we did a, our first flight here. We have one that's called Spa Water. It is an IPA, but it has cucumber and also mint in it, which is super interesting. Then we were going to get the CCB Pipeworks, which is a collaboration brewing, which is with Pipeworks Brewing, which is also here in Florida, but unfortunately they're out of it. So he gave him another one, which is the Irish American IPA. It's um, another collaboration between this brewery and one called Galway Bay Brewing. Um, this one here is obviously Dana's side, Eileen's side, which is always the case. Um, this one's called Footsteps to Plato, which is really interesting. It's a nitro, and then there's just a standard chocolate stout. So that's kind of the lineup we have going for our first tasting. Tropical like juice smoothie. Glass. Yeah, which that was like, grass. yeah, that was a green smoothie. <laughs> It's weird, the taste has got a almost a honeydew taste. Sir, it is 26 I haven't been there specifically, but I, I was on Not my thing. But what I would say about it is it kind of tastes like fresh herbs more than anything else. It does taste extremely like. I don't know how to say it. Like it's just, it's not that 
it's refreshing. It's almost like a, a cleansing. It's like a cleansing kind of a taste. So it's light, it's herby though. It's like you chopped up herbs and slid some into the beer. Like it's, it's like you just chopped up like that fresh tasting. You had a bunch of beer. Yeah, it tastes like tea. Alright, now it's my turn. This one. This is the chocolate stout. You taste it. like typical dark beer. Okay. Caramely, coffee, chocolatey. It okay, I didn't sniff it. I did a bad I did a bad tasting because all I did was immediately dive into that. Because guys, really quick, let me explain this. Smoky. Earlier we, we were at the pool and the only option they had was domestic. So unfortunately we had to have Corona. But it wasn't just a Corona, it was a Corona light. And she smushed a lime into the glass. So and we're not like a fruit in our beer kind of people. Like even an Oberon, like he'll whip an orange at something. And we're just not into it. We don't like it. Um, I don't know. We're weird, I guess. But so I don't into this beer. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about the pool experience too much, but there were drug popping bartenders and weird old men hitting on anybody who would listen to them talking about how he beat his children. And I'm pretty sure he had one too and hadn't watched. No, his and what's weird? No, what's weird is he said. No, he didn't he say he had. Austin yeah. An accent, and then he lost his accent while he was trying to pick up this lady. It was pretty funny and random and a good story, but we needed this beer. Yeah. And really quick, I want to note there is within the bar here, they actually have polyurethane notes from the beginning of them becoming a brewery. They have original letters from when they had sketches of how they wanted the brewery to start. They have like newspaper articles and reviews and just a bunch of recipes from the brewmaster and like how he wanted to make the beer. It's really cool that they, they added all that and it's, it's here for everyone to see their humble beginnings. I think that's kind of cool. So I just wanted to point that out. So this is smoky. It's really good. Um, it's smokier than I thought it would be for a chocolate stout, but it's still very delicious. It's really creamy. So I like that one for sure. Okay. This one is um, Leanne Lusanna. It's from Galway Day Brewing. Yeah, it's a collaboration. Um, they, I wanted the uh, double IPA. They didn't have it, so I just wanted to mix it up. This is what he gave me. I'm a little disappointed that they were out of the double IPA, but it's because you're becoming very like into double IPA, which I blame Craft Daddy Blogs because he sent you that yeah. one fancy one, and now you're like, okay, it's obvious I do like double IPA. This is hoppy, citrusy. Reminds me of all day IPA from Founders. Okay. Um, it's that kind of a smell. Which that's a session like. ale. This is a Irish though, so yeah, I'm sure so it'll taste much sure different. It has a little bit of a different twang to it, but um, it's interesting. But very much IPA style. They did it. They did a good job. It's citrusy. It's good. It's an IPA. It tastes like I would think it would taste. Bell's. Yeah, Bell's Smitten is what it reminds me of. So that's, yeah, for sure. So this one is Footnotes to Plato. That one I'm very excited about. This is one that's, um, it's an oatmeal style, but it's a nitro oatmeal. That's really good. So. It smells very subtle, so it doesn't smell as dark as it tastes, and it tastes more like coffee than chocolate. But it's it's full bodied and smooth, and it doesn't really remind me of a nitro, but I think I find that really interesting because like nitro tastes so different based on how it's implemented into the brew. 
Like, for example, the Nitro by Sam Adams, you don't like. You didn't like that at all, remember? But the Nitro from Left Hand Brewing, the Nitro Milk Stout, my favorite Nitro, is totally different. Like, one has more of a light taste to it, and it, it almost has more fizz, and one is very smooth and creamy. Um, and then the other type of Nitro that we've tasted, you told me you thought was flat, or old, or expired. This is more kind of in the middle. So it's smooth and it's creamy, but it kind of nods towards feeling, not feeling tasty. Okay, so we attempted to walk the river walk, thinking we could walk to this restaurant that I had on Yelp, it was bookmarked for my birthday. I didn't think anything of it, I guess, which is kind of a mistake on my end, that on a Wednesday it would be a problem to get into a restaurant. Terrible mistake in Tampa, Florida. But look at how beautiful the outside of this restaurant is. So there's like a bunch of like little sitting areas like this outside. The entrance is here. They have kind of an industrial thing for it. So it's Eulalie is the name of the place. It's a steakhouse. It's pretty cool. Turn around. Maybe. Oh, wow. Okay. And then that happens. And then this just happens. So, yeah, really cool place. It's a steakhouse and they had calamari, which is our weakness. So we are here. We were, will report back once we either get a beer or, I guess, be seated. Oh wait, what's this a bowl? There's just surprises everywhere. Okay, anyway, yeah, we'll, we will report back. Okay, so we've been seated, and we're on the second floor, and we're right above the kitchen. It's just a really great restaurant. I would totally, if we were back in Tampa, I would totally come here again. It's really, really cool. What are, so what are we gonna order? Um, we are going to get the fresh calamari as an appetizer. Yeah, we couldn't wait to like film to eat our calamari, so we just ate it. It's gone. It's really good, but it came with marinara sauce and Dana requested like aioli. But these are New York strips. They come with sauteed green beans and then there's like a special cheddar popcorn mashed potatoes they do. So it's cheddar cheddar uh, mashed potatoes and it has popcorn on it, which is kind of strange. Well, cheddar popcorn with mashed potatoes. I'm not sure. Well, I think it's more mashed potatoes and less about that, but. So these are our meals and we're starving and we're going to eat them. Good morning guys. So we just woke up after our first night in the hotel and we slept in a little bit but we're so used to getting up so early that sleeping in was like 8 o'clock when we had attempted to sleep in until 10 o'clock. So we're getting ready. We to... literally said we're going to sleep till 10. Nope. Yeah and then we didn't do it. We're going to take the airport shuttle to the cruise ship uh, which I think is a good point. If you stay in a hotel always ask if they have a shuttle from the airport or wherever because a lot of times you can get some of your transportation for free instead of using Uber all the time or taxis. Yeah, because it adds up quickly. Like then you look at your email the next morning and you see all the copies of the Uber receipts and you're like, oh, well, hi. Oh, $77 in Uber fee. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm actually going to tally up how much we spent the first day in Tampa because we were pretty moderate on what we did and it still adds up very quickly. So we are now packing up our bags, making sure they're pretty much the way they were when we traveled at the airport. That way that they're easy and kind of clean and ready to go. One thing I think people get into the habit of is you pack really neatly when you leave because you are trying to fit everything in there. You're worried if it'll fit or not. You're trying to make it so that it doesn't shift too much at the airport. Then once you're on vacation, it's like all of a sudden party mode kicks in. And I was on vacation. 
Yeah, and then you just throw stuff in there. And then it's stressful because you can't find anything, it's not organized, and then the last couple of days of a trip become, oh, let's reorganize our bags because, oh yeah, we have to go to the airport again. But, so we're, we're picking out the items that we need for the first day on the ship, since today we'll be just kind of on the ship exploring and at port. We're not actually going to be seabound today. So we're gonna get bathing suits, change of clothes, change of shoes, kind of put that in our backpack so that it's ready to go. And we're gonna clean up the hotel room, check out of the hotel room, and then get on the shuttle, go to the area of the port, find a brunch spot and some good coffee, and yes. explore until we check into the ship. Yeah, a woman decided to take her luggage up the elevator or escalator and fell down backwards because she's on the ground right now. It's pretty hectic and crazy. So we're at the port earlier than we wanted to be. We don't board till 1 o'clock. It's 11.30. We're hoping to get Ubered to get brunch somewhere, but it's so hectic right here. We're just going to stay and I'm going to eat my cookie from the flight yesterday.